how to me children of the grave will never randy made that his song he you know because the dun, 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 dun. of course it's cool black sabbath did it because you're like holy crap that's such a cool heavy riff but then when randy did it randy hated black sabbath whenever he would hear black sabbath he'd go you know like ozzy did <laughs> He hated Black Sabbath. So when he had to play those songs, he was going to, you know, up them so they weren't so plotty. I think that's what he, they plotted along, yes. Like old dinosaurs or something. I can't remember what his, he did not like it because I had him teach me something. Oh, Sabbath, buddy, Sabbath. That's a nice religious song to know. But he taught it to me. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Um, of course he didn't tease me when I I was 14. Um, but yeah, I knew he was gonna, you know, do something different and make him, you know, not <laughs> like Black Sabbath did. And he, I think Children of the Grave was like one of the greatest 
you know, uh, covers, basically. Randy made it his. And even even with uh, Iron Man, where that is has to be it, I am Iron Man. Cause I used, I love Black Sabbath still, but he made me kept keep thinking of him as these old goofballs. So I it just when he joined, I'm like, really? But look what he did! Look what he did! Him and Bob Daisley, holy crap! If it wasn't for those two getting together, Ozzy would be dead. He would have died in 1980 or in 79. And that would have been it. Yeah, he was a singer of Black Sabbath. He quit, or they kicked him out because he was a druggie. He drank and drugged himself to death. And they got Ronnie James Dio. And then Dio left, and they just had a string of singers until they retired. Instead of what happened, Randy basically saving his life. And he was barely, you know, he wasn't... He just, you know, because he didn't go in there and try to play any Black Sabbath because he didn't like Black Sabbath, so he wasn't going to play it. He didn't even want the gig. His mom told him to go down there. I'm sure you all know this, right? This is nothing secret. His mom said, go down there. And so he just brought his practice, his amp that he used to teach with, little teeny piece of crap, Went down there, plugged in, and was tuning up and doing his... And probably doing the crazy runs. Which were crazy then because it was... All you were hearing was Van Halen. But he was not going to play any Van Halen type crap. So all Ozzy was getting was little Van Halens, little mini wannabes, Lynch. And... Uh, or people that were playing Black Sabbath. And I know who went in there and played... Three Black Sabbath songs, probably perfect, almost. But he, I know, you know, he didn't get it. I know he was pissed too. But he eventually got into a band, and then he throws thrown out, and then he got back in. Then he lived in my garage, and now he's married to a millionaire. Know who I'm talking about? Yes, you do. Chris Holmes. <laughs> There you go. Tell me, yes or no. <laughs> it rhymes. And remember, subscribe and comment. The video I put up last night, I, I shot Saturday, apparently two people commented. I know who my my you know friends are now because they always comment. And Dave, you've been commenting loyally, you know, a lot. So thanks. Here's to Dave Whalen. And also my new friend, uh, Jason. I like that guy. Good guy. And uh, actually, there's another guy that did a, said a really good comment, but he doesn't have a name. I think he's the, the destroyer of all comments, or the destroyer or something. Who else can I think of? There's a lot of them. I'm getting a lot of friends that, you know, not friends, like, hey, buddy, but internet people that I, I you know I like to hear from them it's nice it's nice to get any comment and you know subscribe and you know it's cool and people playing my old stuff I just found that video another the other day of uh, <laughs> I'm bad with name just said his name He's uh, playing one of my old uh, Fatal Attraction songs uh, tonight. I actually gave that song to a band called Crash Diet from Sweden or something. They're like a Motley Crue band. Uh, Mick Mars produced, the, I think, their first album. They used the song tonight from my band Fatal Attraction uh, as their encore. And they were going to record it. This is about four years ago four or five and I don't know what happened but I was in the bass player just loved Fatal Attraction 
he was going to fly out here, but then they were going to tour out here, and I don't know what happened. I think somebody in the band died. I don't know. Going on too much. Bye. Have a good day. Have a good night. Subscribe. Hit the button. And comment anything about this. Because if I get no comments, I'm doing it. If I get comments saying don't do it, then I will rethink my uh, dots. But right now, I think it looks pretty cool. Don't you? I do.